Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, here's some um, some news uh, from Sony, and uh, they just announced that they they are not going to make uh, a mount camera anymore. Means they are not going to make DSLR camera anymore. They make only mirrorless. I got a camera here. That's the camera they can, they said they're gonna make. Okay, I have this camera. Is this um, Sony A three hundred from uh, about ten years ago? This kind of camera they're going to make anymore. Uh, what's the difference between this camera and the mirrorless? Uh, I think a lot of people already knows that. And uh, basically, see this camera. Have a mirror here. Uh, the function for put the mirror they just reflect the image through this lens on top and go to your viewfinder. So optical viewfinder you can see through the lens. Uh, when you shoot uh, image, the mirror is going to flip up and then shotgun is working. Uh, those kind of cameras it also has uh, regular LED screen monitor. So, and uh, this is a long story about this kind of camera. Uh, they call DSL because before the DSL, there's a there's, there's no D there. That means the regular SLR camera. Uh, because in the, before the DSLR, because there's a film inside. Now it's called digital. They call DSLR camera. They're not going to make this kind of camera anymore. Sony. Okay, they only from now on they only make uh, mirrorless, kind of like this. That's uh, the first generation. The mirrorless. There's no mirror. There's no uh, optical viewfinder so everything sees through the LED screen the most important thing for the this kind of camera they can exchange lens from one lens to another lens okay so you can uh, get a different lens um, Okay, that's this. Okay, so in the market, so this mounting method they call A mount, actually from uh, Minota and uh, Konica. So when you take over, call this kind of mount called A mount. Probably it's just alpha mount or A series, and they use this kind of uh, lens in the market. Uh, recently, the this couple of years, mirrorless is uh, become the main stream for, for the camera industry. Actually, um, the mirrorless camera they also can exchange the lens. Uh, there's a, they cannot mount this lens to mirrorless camera. The mirrorless camera for, from Sony they call E mount. And uh, the E mount camera size of the size of the sensor mirrorless E mount sensor and uh, the A mount camera sensor basically they are same size, but the body structure is different, and um, the lens mounting. Uh, distance between uh, sensor and the mounting surface is uh, narrow. That means they can make the cameras smaller. The reason they can make the camera smaller is because they took out the, the mirror. There's no mirror anymore. Um, so now, since they don't make this kind of DSLR camera anymore from Sony, so the people like me has uh, this kind of 
lands and what you can do with our lands. Uh, instead, they said the lens, because they don't make the camera, um, the, the older camera not as good as the new camera. Of course, the sensor is different uh, and the uh, um, connection different, uh, the card different, the memory card different. And uh, yes, that's what uh, we can talk about. The next topic is what we can do with our lens. Yes, you spend a lot of money for that. And um, yes, um, before this day, uh, Sony already has what we call exchange uh, adapter. So surface and the sensor distance, the both type of cameras different. Actually, the A mount is a little bit farther from a surface to the mounting uh, surface, uh, from sensor to mounting surface. And what they normally do is get the adapter exchange put on to your A mount lens and then use a adapter to attach to your mirrorless camera. That's normally um, the photographer doing right now these days because if you want to get a a better function and that's the way uh, you change the camera and the lens still works okay so to I think Sony prepare for this moment to answer the user like us so we now we are now prepared to change a very expensive camera uh, we now prepare to get a the new mirrorless camera and uh, all the lens got a new lens so so on so forth okay so what Sony did is uh, Sony put a ZV-1 no oh, sorry Sony put a ZV-E1 on the market a couple of weeks ago when a Sony ZV-E1 come to show on the market a lot of YouTuber and uh, reviewers uh, reviewer says, "Yeah, this EV, uh, this ZV E10 is for the beginner of blog." Uh, I was prepared to make a um, a video about that. Say no, it's not for a beginner. It's not for a vlog. The reason from the beginner for the vlog, first of all, they don't need that function. The ZV1 is enough like what I'm using recording right now. Um, the people saying that for beginner, no, no, no. Because beginner even don't know how to choose the lens because the ZV E10 is only come with the body, no lens. How you can expect a, a beginner to choose correct lens, this, that, and the mounting mess out E mounting, EF mounting, or A mount. So they'll be confused. That's one thing. Another thing is um, if it's a YouTuber to shoot like a regular video, you don't need a, that many function. Um, it's ZV1 is good enough for YouTuber. So that's what I'm using. And and what is the ZV E10 for? And today we understand that's what people already has this uh, A mount lens, and uh, because they want to get more function, the new uh, sensor and the new um, card and, and the high speed, and they need a new camera. But uh, people don't want to spend a lot of money for the new camera, and the ZV E10 is the best way for this kind of. Uh, photographer to keep their old lens get a new function. So one more thing is um, SLR camera from Sony. The <clears throat> the sensor size is what we call APS C. This sensor is smaller than 
the uh, 35 millimeter uh, film size. The 35 millimeter film size sensor size we call a full size sensor camera. In Sony, um, the full size sensor camera, the mounting method use FE mount. Okay, it's so. Just keep in mind, um, if you still want to keep using um, your A mount camera lens, and uh, you got a mirrorless camera, central size, it will be a uh, APS-C, uh, and the uh, new camera ZV-E10, that's the size, and you got whole um, sensor covered. But if we want to put this this lens onto the full sensor size camera, um, some area is not going to be covered. That's all it explained why Sony introduced the ZV E10 to the market. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.